Hello and welcome back. So finally, let's do some logging in. Okay, so since we've already laid the groundwork in uh, the sign up page, we can uh, just copy what we did there. So I'm going to go to the uh, view. Let me close this as I don't need this code anymore. So I'm going to go to the sign up view, copy the form content. I want to load the login view as well. And let's add a form here and let's close that form over there like this. I can move this backward. Okay, that's good. And then back here, let's do a little bit more things. Let's say this value thingy here, copy that back to the login view. So we have email here, type email, and we can just put that here and put that one here as well. Okay, so that's email and password. Same thing here, email. Okay, so get var, get var, and then we are set. And we need also to deal with errors. So we're just going to copy what's here because it's exactly the same. Copy that and then come back to... Uh, where is this uh, user? Login view. There we go. Paste like so. Okay, that's it. So we have our errors. We have everything. Now we have to go to the controller for the login and just make sure that we have errors set here. So I'm just going to set these errors, but I can just copy from this sign up because I already have this stuff. So copy there. Let me put them next to each other, paste, and then I'll copy this down here. Errors, errors, copy that. And let's do a comma, open like that. And let me move it down like so for easy access. Okay, so that's good. This means if I now refresh the page, I shouldn't get any errors either. Okay, and uh, back here again. Now, on this one, we need the same thing that we needed here. So if we posted something, so let me copy all this. Okay. And I just want to copy that, put it here. So if we posted something, we create a new user. And in this user, it's easy to read from the user's table. So what we are looking for is the email. So I'm just going to say uh, row is equal to, and say here, um, user. Uh, find, is it find? Wait a minute, I am getting confused. Where is my model? Uh, there's, uh, insert find all and then there's where so i want to look for the i want to use the where here so we'll say where because i know exactly what i'm looking for here i'm looking for the password so the email sorry so where um this is the value actually so i'm just going to say email comma like that okay so where email is equal to that. Hmm. So if everything goes well, I'll have a value here that isn't false. So I'll say if, in fact, all I can do here is say if, I can put an if statement here like that. So if this went well, then we are good. Or else, if it didn't, then we'll have a problem on our hands. So I am going to say errors. Uh, errors. This will be email. Is equal to uh, wrong, wrong email or password like that. All right, 
So very simple code, as you can see here. We check if this exists. If it doesn't, then that. But if it does exist, then we have something else here. So what we will do is we are going to log the user in. So since we are in the user uh, class already, uh, we can create, I want to create a different um, uh, model here, which I'm going to call auth, like this. I'll use a capital A there. So I want these things to run in a static mode. So I'm not going to be using the arrow notation like this. I want to be using the static version like that. The reason is I don't want to instantiate it like this. Now, I can do this on this one because they're going to be very simple functions I'm doing in here. They're just direct simple functions, which I could put in the functions.php as well. But I much rather like creating classes. So I'll put them in a class because it's more organized. So say auth and say authenticate like this. Okay. And then once I say, <coughs> sorry, authenticate, I'll put this row here, like that. So once I do this, I've authenticated the user, and then I can now redirect the user by saying this, like so, this redirect. And where are we redirecting to? And that's the home page, right? Uh, home page is uh, home, I guess, like so. Okay, very good, and we are done here. So let's create this auth class, which is very simple to create. Let's go in the models, because whatever class we're trying to uh, access that isn't found will be searched, searched for in the models, so we are better off putting it there. So I'm just going to put PHP tags, and then save this as auth.php and then put class like this authentication class mm -hmm. so here i'll put auth and it doesn't extend anything at all okay so we won't be needing a uh, wait public now this should be static because we are um, accessing them like this so this should be static functions and we don't need a constructor at all so we we'll remove this we're just going to say authenticate because that's now you can reduce this name to something more palatable something you can easily type yourself uh, if you find this name too long you have the freedom to do what you want. So here what I would do is use the session. All I'm going to do is say session uh, user is equal to and put that row there like so. Good. Now let me go back to uh, the database class here. Uh, type, data type is object, so we are good. Um, we should be able to change this data type somehow and hopefully I'll remember to do this in future. But for now we are using objects, so I'll leave it there. So session user is equal to row like this and that's it. That's all we need. We are authenticated now. And then we can create a second function for logging out. So we'll do this, public static function log out so authenticate log out so here what we just need to do is say if is set so if this is set right here we just need to unset it that's it unset and that's the one like so once you do that you are logged out. Okay, simple, straightforward. Auth, authenticate, log out. Good. And we don't need this here on the logout. 
because it's already in this session anyway. Okay, so also we're going to need one last function, which is to check if a user is logged in. So function, uh, let's see, authenticate, logout, and check. Let's just call it logged in, right? Like so. So if the current user is logged in, then we can know. Now, for now, we're going to make this a little bit complex because we want to use this to gain access. Um, actually, no, just to check if somebody is logged in. We're just going to say if is set um, session user, then the user is logged in, right? So we just return true like this. Otherwise, we return false like so. Okay, so now we can check if a user is logged in, we can log the user out, and then we can authenticate the user. So very nice, and I can close the authentication class now. So we've authenticated, and that is good. So save this. Now, in order to see how this works, uh, we can go to the home page, for example, and right here, before I do anything, I want to check if a user is authenticated. So I'm just going to say auth because I don't want them to access this page if they are not authenticated. So I'm just going to do logged in like this. Now, this returns true or false, right? Let me put an if statement here, like so. That's what was missing. So if not so let's put a not there. If this is not happening, then let's redirect this user to the login page. So redirect, and we're just going to say login like that. Simple and straightforward. So once we do this, somebody cannot access this page if they're not logged in. Let's test that, shall we? If I now go to, let's say I go to the sign up page Okay, so I'm at the sign up page, quite all right. But if I go to the home page, instead I go to the login page. See that? So that means it's working. I cannot access the home page without logging in. So back to the login thingy here. Um, let's see, uh, everything looks fine. Now, once we get this, we're supposed to be able to check if the password is correct. Now, to verify a password is very easy. What we do is we use password uh, verify. There we go. So here we get the password and the hash. So the password is the one that the user has supplied. So the user will have supplied post password like this, okay? And then the hash is the one we got from the row here. Now, one thing I forgot is that row comes as an array of items. So I should do this probably, row is equal to row zero, like that. Okay. That way we get the very first item. So here it's going to be row password, which is hashed. That's why it's called the hash. And then this is the raw password. So this is an if statement as well. This is this returns true or false. So we we'll use an if statement to get the verification here. So we'll say if password verify, if this is true, then we're going to authenticate the user. I'll put this in here like so. However, if that does not happen, then we do this instead. So I'm just going to remove the else over here because I don't want to have so many branches, I'll move this down here, like that. This now means, for as long as we posted, if things didn't go well here, we'll not be redirected, but we'll get to this point and we'll get wrong user name or password. So let's test this out and say login, and I get wrong. I'll try this again, login, please enter a valid email. So let's try a valid email, yes? Uh, at yahoo 
dot com and login wrong email and password so let's try the right one password like this and let's log in now i'm at the home page so i am now logged in awesome isn't it yes yes okay so in the next video let's see how we can add our name to this location and finish up with the logout as well i'll see you then